Greetings from sunny Slovenia. So it's, it's been a while since I've done a live video, so I apologize in advance for any cock-ups. So I'm in um, uh, a little village called Prejganje. Let's see if I can get that right. It's a nice little village in the hills to the east of Ljubljana, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Just let me uh, reverse the camera and show you the views from here. This place is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Let's have a pan around. Go in a bit closer. Now, over there, from here, you get this lovely view of this section of the Kamni You won't see it so well, it's hazy, but once that sun goes down and it clears a bit, you can actually see Mount Triglav and the Julian Alps. Mount Triglav is the highest mountain in Slovenia. It's really beautiful. And then if we pan further around here, it's hard to see against the sun, but over there, there we go, that is Mount Krim of the, uh, the Ljubljana marshes, just at the south of Ljubljana. And then way over there in the distance, way down in the southwest of Slovenia, is Mount Snežnik. So you really get a fabulous panoramic view of this area. And as you can see, the colors are really starting to come out now. Spring is finally in full bloom here in Slovenia. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. I really love this time of year in Slovenia because you just get this like 50 shades of green, you could say. This is the church here in Prezganje, uh, the church of St. Margaret. And this is the hill. So where I am now is the hill that it sits on. And this is where you get this fabulous view, fabulous view. So I really, really love it here. Let's just flip this around. Now you, sorry, now you have to look at me instead of that lovely view. Now, I thought today I would just talk a little bit about, first of all, my upcoming Slovenia workshop and about a new set of filters that I got. If you saw my story a little while ago, I just bought myself a nice set of case filters. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, so. Just about my Slovenia workshop, in two weeks time is my spring in Slovenia workshop, which is why I wanted to show you all this lovely color. This is a gorgeous time to photograph Slovenia. And this is the reason why I chose to have my spring workshop right now. We're right about the end of April when everything really is in lush, lovely. Because I had a couple of cancellations, I've still got two uh, space is left on my workshop and unfortunately I can only keep them open until Monday because we're staying in the lovely Pension Maya in Bled, right, right beside Lake Bled, just a five minute walk from the lakeside, it's really gorgeous. And I've got the rooms reserved but unfortunately I can't really keep them um, for much longer. Now the lovely lady who runs the place has allowed me up to five days before the workshop starts free cancellation, but I don't want to take advantage of her. And I'm going to, I've decided that uh, as of Monday, if nobody has booked those places by the 12 o'clock midnight Monday, then on Tuesday, I'm going to let her know to release the rooms. So that means that I won't be, I will take the, um, I'll remove the booking. And if anybody does decide at the last minute they want to book, well, it's very much going to depend if I'm going to be able to get those rooms, which I doubt because that weekend is actually a holiday weekend in Slovenia. And that means most likely in the moment she releases them, she'll probably have them rented within a few days. And maybe we'll get some, I might be able to get a, a room nearby, but there's no guarantee. So if you really, really are considering coming on my workshop, make sure you book by Monday at the latest to really be sure that you will get a place and you will get a room in this lovely pension as well. Okay, so enough about that. Now I'm going to talk about the filters I bought. So just as a brief intro, this is what I bought. A set of case filters. I'll show you a bit more about them in a minute, but I want to show you this is what I had before. Now this is the case K9 
filter holder, fantastic filter holder. You can insert, must be time for mass. It's got a circular polarizer in there, which is magnetic, which you can pop in and spin around. And that's fantastic. And then you can slide the square filters in here. Now that's great when you want to use grads, but you don't always want to use grads. It's not always necessary to use a grad. And up until now, when I wanted to use the polarizer, I had to get this out and screw this on just to use the polarizer. So, um, and the other thing too, uh, I'll just show you. This is a ND filter, 10 stop ND filter, really, really good. Now the square ones fit in there and case has a, a gasket right here. So if you put it in the very last one, it seals and there's no light leakage. So fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You don't need to have anything else attached to it. But it does present a problem if you want to stack the ND filter. So if you want to put another one here, this one's sealed, but the others are not sealed. So that's a bit of a problem. Not a huge problem, but you know, if you've got a 10 stop, case also have a 15 stop. So that's all well and good if you want that. But again, I don't always want a 10 stop. You know, sometimes I want a six stop or a three stop. You know, sometimes 10 stop is too much. So um, I have a six stop Hoyer filter, which has always been very good. But as I say, I wanted to get some others. And, and also it's good to stack filters too. So let me show you what I got. So I went and purchased the Case Revolution Magnetic Circular Filters. Now you can buy them independently, of course, but Case have two really, really great kits. The entry level kit, I mean, I don't know why they call it entry level kit. There's the entry level kit and the pro kit. Well, the only difference really between them is the pro kit has one more filter. So I wouldn't, I think it's not a very good name for it actually, because it makes it sound amateurish, which is not. The entry level kit comes with a polarizer, a three stop ND and a six stop ND. And the pro kit comes with the same, but also comes with a 10 stop ND. So that's the only difference really. Everything else is pretty much the same. It comes in with this really, really handy little case, as you can see. Uh, it's got a magnetic, magnetic sealer at the front, so you don't have to fiddle around with a with a button trying to trying to line it up. You, know, you can just pop it down and it's done. It's got this handy little hook. It's got a strap at the back, so you can actually uh, so you can see that uh, better there. So you can actually hook it to your belt, so you can keep it on your belt. So. For example, you, know, you can hook it on your belt and you've always got access to your filters here. Or, as I've just done, if you've got a hook on your tripod, and my Benro tripod has a, a neat little hook here, I can hang it on there. So that's really good, I really like that. Um, but the other thing I really like about these filters is that each one is color coded. See, silver, for the circular polarizer. Blue for the three stop ND. Six stop ND, sorry. And three, sorry, that was a three stop ND. Blue for the three stop and gold, yellow, whatever you want to call it, for the six stop ND. So color coded so you can easily just reach inside and grab the filter that you want by the color. And that's really, really uh, useful, unless you're a bit like me and getting an old and absent-minded, and you tend to forget which color is for which. So the silver's for the three stop, or the silver's for the six stop, or is it gold for the circular polar eye? Oh my God, I can't remember. <laughs> so what they've also done is given you these really neat little labels here. So you get a whole pack of labels with every type of filter you can possibly get. And then you can stick the label on there to, with, with the color as well to remind you and what type it is. So the ND64 is yellow. Oh, there we go. That's the one I want. Or the ND8 is blue. Or the polarizer is silver. So that's really handy for if you're like me 
and a bit absent-minded and you can't remember which color is which. So that's really good, isn't it? Yeah. So I really like this handy little case. You can just hang it on your belt, whatever, grab whichever filter you want. So how do they work? They're magnetic and that is the thing that I really, really like. Now it comes with two rings. This is the standard ring that you screw on. So you just simply screw this onto the end of your lens like this. Once that's on, nice and simple. There's my circular polarizer. Boom, it's on. And when I adjust it, I just turn it like this. Then if I want to add a three stop ND, there we go. And then if I want to get a longer exposure even than that, then I can stack. Now I've got the six stop and the three stop and the circular polarizer. And I can turn them all like this. Really, really handy. And then if I'm in a rush to leave um, and I don't want to have to try and pack it all away, we've got a nice lens cap to go on there as well. So really, really handy, nice and strong. You can see sometimes it's uh, a little bit difficult prizing them apart. That's how strong these magnets are. So they're really, really good. I love them. Um, so let's take them off one at a time and I can put them back in the right slots because I've got them marked. That's another thing I often do is I try to have uh, a place, uh, a right home for them all, but I end up mixing them up, especially in the dark and putting them in the wrong place. And then when I try to find them the next time, I'm lost. So this is the standard one. This is the standard ring. But they also give you this inlaid ring. And this is much thinner and really, really good. Now, let's screw this in. So you can start by putting it in just a bit like this. And then they give you this little tool here to screw it in. So here we go, just line these up, line the slots. I've got it in the right way. Nope, I've got it in the wrong way. Ah. That's another thing with age. I need glasses for these things. So I've got it the wrong way around. There we go. Let's see if I got it the right way around. Line. No, I haven't got it the wrong way around. I just couldn't see. There they are. So there's these tiny little grooves here. So we just have to line this up. There we go, that's done it. And now we can screw this in, right the way in. We got it. There we go. We got it fully in. Not quite. That's it, that's it, now I've got it there. There. So now that's in there. You can tighten it up a bit more if you want to. But, um, let's grab another. It's a little bit fiddly, but once you've got it in, Now this should stick on there. There we go. Now I've got two on there, see? And one more thing I'd like to show you. So you might be wondering why I didn't get the uh, rid of these horrible things. You might be wondering why I didn't get the um, the one with the 10 stop, the Pro Kit. Well, I've already got a 10 stop square filter, but I can't use that one here, obviously. But I can stack the two together. So I've got a six stop and a three stop. That gives me nine stops. But as I said, I've also got a Hoyer screw-in filter. Now this isn't magnetic, but again, 
what I really like about these is that you are actually able to screw on a screw-in filter. So now I've got six, six and three. So now I've got six, 12, 15 stops. Now I've got a 15 stop ND on there. So I like that too. And you just have to be careful though when you do screw them on, you don't screw them too tight and you can get them off again. <laughs> so there you have it. And they're really strong, the magnetics are strong. Sometimes it's quite difficult to prise them apart. That's how strong they are. And I can easily pop them back in their case like that. And away we go. And if I want to remove this, I can do. Now the other thing is if I really wanted to I could also use this on the end. Now you might get vignetting problems when you start doing this. I haven't tested it properly myself yet um, and you're certainly probably not going to be able to use it when you go wide angle. Um, but uh, For example you won't need this magnetic filter there. But if I wanted to use this ND and then I wanted to put a grad on after a while, then they do actually fit together. Like that, you see? So there we go. As I say, I haven't fully tried and tested that yet, so I will do and I'll update you on that. But uh, it's not really meant to go together like this, I don't think, but it can do. So. You know, in an extreme situation, it might be worth doing. So, there you go. Just thought I would uh, show you that quickly and show you Slovenia. I've uh, just been waiting for the sun to go. So, we look behind you now. Now the sun's going down. The haze is minimizing over there and I'm hoping to get a nice shot of those mountains over there. And if it does clear enough over there, I'll try to get something of Tree Love and I'll post the pictures a bit later. Okay, so uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I know I'm going to and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.